Hi friends, I'm Mrs. Schimpf and I'm super excited to be back with you for math today. We are going to play another game with some 3D shapes. Well, actually today we're going to have 3D and 2D. Do you remember what those mean? 2D or two-dimensional are flat shapes, like a triangle. 3D or three-dimensional shapes are solid, like a pyramid. So I was cleaning up my office, getting ready for a morning meeting, and I noticed that I have a lot of things in here that are different shapes. So I collected some of them and I wanna play a game with you. I thought we could play I Spy. So what I did was I took a picture of all the shapes I found so that it would be easier for you to see. So let me see if I can pull those up for you. Here we go. So these are all the shapes I found. I still have them next to me here, but I wanted you to be able to see them a little bit more clearly. So let's play I Spy. I will describe a shape and you have to listen carefully to my clues and then point to the screen and see if you know what thing I'm talking about. All right, so let me take a look. Hmm. I spy a two-dimensional shape, so that means it's flat. I spy a two-dimensional shape that is round with no straight edges. Do you know what I'm pointing to or thinking about? That's right, a circle. I have this pin that my son got the first time he went to Disney World. So that's a circle. It's two dimensional, it's flat, and there's no straight sides. Can you draw a circle? Sometimes circles are hard to draw, but I did my best. Let's play again. Hmm. I spy a three dimensional shape. This one has two flat faces that are circles, just like this, but then one big curved surface. Can you point to it? That's right, a cylinder, like Clorox wipes. Using these a lot, are you? Two flat circle faces and one big curved surface, and it rolls. Do you want to know how to draw a cylinder? See if you can do it with me. So we're going to draw an oval at the top and an oval at the bottom and then just two lines down to connect the sides. And that's how you can make it look like a cylinder. All right, let's play again. I spy another three-dimensional shape. Hmm. This one has one flat circle face, and then the rest is all curved. Can you find it? One flat circle face and one big curved surface. They usually have a point or a vertex at the top, but mine doesn't. That's right, a cone, a flat circle on the bottom, and then one big curved surface, but mine doesn't have a point at the top. We can draw a cone too. This time, we're gonna draw an oval at the bottom. And then a real cone has a point. So we're gonna put a dot right up at the top of our cone. And then, just like I'm making a letter A, I'm gonna come down with two diagonal lines to the sides of my oval. And now it looks like a cone. My light is shining right on there. Let me see if I can move that for you. That's a little bit better. There you go. All right, let's try another one. I spy a two-dimensional shape that has six sides and six corners. Can you spot it? Two-dimensional, so it's flat. That's right. It's a tricky one to remember the name. This little Star Wars token is called a hexagon. It has six sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, and six corners. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is a super tricky shape to draw, but let's try it. I like to put two straight lines, one at the top and one at the bottom. And then we can kind of put dots on the two sides, just a little bit like what we did with the cone. And then, I'm going to connect the dot 
and down to the bottom, come over to this side, go to the dot, and then go to the bottom. Does it have six sides? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six sides. So it's a hexagon. Let's do one more. I spy a three-dimensional object. It has some flat faces that are shaped like squares and lots of corners or vertices. Hmm. It's not the post-it notes. That's a flat square. I'm thinking of a three-dimensional shape. That's right. The block is a cube. Would you like to learn to draw a cube? Let's try. All right, so we are gonna start with a square. One, two, three, four. Four sides makes a square. Turn it this way so you can see. Then we're gonna start inside the middle of my square and I'm gonna draw another one. I'm gonna go down. One, two, three, four. So now I have two squares that are kind of stuck together. Now I have to connect the corners. So the top corner over here, the top corner over here. Now I have to do the inside corner and the outside corner. That's a super tricky shape to draw. If you did that one, kiss your brain. So I still have more shapes left on my screen. I wonder if you can play I Spy. Can you describe some of my shapes to someone in your family? Maybe you can even try draw drawing them. Or can you find some objects around your own house and play I Spy? Your parents or your brothers or sisters or whoever is home with you can play with you. They can describe some shapes for you to guess and you can do it too. We'd love to see pictures or video of you playing I Spy. Have a great day.